Hello and welcome to another tutorial uh, I have made. Uh, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some stuff about Roblox Studio. Uh, more specifically, I would like to tell to tell you and instruct you how to publish a, a game in um, Roblox uh, Studio. Well, first of all, if you uh, also, Roblox Studio has made some updates, that's why you saw another base plate, and that's the classic base plate anyway. Uh, so, let's uh, say I have made a game and I want to publish, uh, I want to publish it uh, to Roblox. I will go to game settings and then publish, then here, uh, up here is game settings home, uh, name game name and then the description uh, YouTube okay uh, so creator me uh, genre is um, the theme so if you want it to be adventure building comedy fighting Comedy, yes, fighting, FPS, horror, medieval, military, naval, RPG, sky fi, sports, town and city, or western, or all. Anyway, okay, these are the devices a game can be played on. The game can be played on it is computer, phone, and tablet. These are the default settings. So, the settings the game has already. Um, Chosen for you, uh, the console by console it means uh, it means Xbox One, and it says here. Do you agree that your game is a controller committable and contains none of the following: blood or gore, intensive violence, strong language, swearing, robux gambling, drug reference or use? Uh, so these are the things. Uh, these are the elements a thing should a game should not uh, contain if you want to make it for console and you can press agree or not agree and or disagree and if you press uh, if you click on agree uh, and you really don't have uh, those uh, things th that stuff uh, in your game you won't be reported otherwise if, for instance, uh, there is blood or gore in your game, uh, you, you, it might get reported. If it's uh, if it's available on console. So anyway, just go here and create the game. Now we have the name, the description, and the main stuff. But but uh, let me show you something else as well. Okay, so uh, yes, now if you go over here to game settings, you can see a bunch more stuff over here and some over here. So permissions is something which I will want to I want to discuss later uh, in another video. Oh, and also playability. Who can play this game? If you there is public, uh, it will be a public game not just for you then monetization uh, just play this for the basics uh, localization no places uh, no. oh yes uh, edit and here you can uh, enter the maximum uh, players uh, that can join a, ser a, a single server in your game Okay, uh, and then server field, uh, field Roblox optimize. Uh, it Roblox will uh, will decide on its own how to uh, put the players in each server. Maximum uh, means that another server won't be a second server won't be created unless two hundred players are in one server. But I wouldn't suggest that as um, somebody might uh, leave a server and because he wants to join another server and then 
for some reason and then they will get into the same server unless the other players are issued. And the third option is I think I think Roblox makes player reservations so that um, for instance a player wants to play with his friend with their friend uh, and then they enter a server but then it's full and then his friend or her friend cannot join so this is what this is helpful for and if a player I think if a player gets in here uh, 10 slots will be reserved for 10 players to join unless you change that number Okay, so anyway, um, now the if I press uh, view the history, uh, it will show the changes I have made here. So okay, uh, now if I go over here to avatar, the presets are uh, default, classic scale, full classic, are a uh, throw and player choice. Uh, okay, uh, so you can imagine what all these do: default, classic scale, full classic, and R throw for the ones who don't know it. I think is uh, more. I can't explain it more like uh, rectangle, more like cubes and everything. And a player choice is obviously what the players choose. Um. Avatar type, uh, as the default suggests here, I would recommend that you use R15 because those that means that the parts, the objects, and avatar pl uh, player's avatar consists of R15 and not 6. So higher detail, obviously, apparently, actually. Uh, Animation player choice or standard uh, animation. It means that well, some people buy animations at the catalog. No big deal. Just click on player choice, collision, other box, inner box. Just okay. Leave those. To, uh, just leave all those to uh, default for now. Now uh, world. Uh, if you go over here to world to the classic Roblox server gravity higher jump realistic real world uh, gravity athletic human uh, slightly heavier gravity jump higher work faster action yeah you can you can just leave those uh, to uh, default if you want your game to be like every uh, like most games in Roblox yeah. And now over here two options. Anyway, well, there isn't much I need to tell you about all those. Now, what I would like to tell you though, uh, so that I don't get boring, is how to make a game icon or uh, how to put uh, images. Since I have, I say this is a YouTube tutorial, I would go to here, game icon, and then. And then once you've got an image you want uh, your game to have when you when you go here uh, see this is more like a rectangle image um, yes that, that's the game icon now when you go into a game uh, here this is the image uh, you can import from here and there are sometimes more images. I think the limit is 10. So anyhow, say I would like to uh, do uh, this to enter this as a game icon. Now I will show you later a disadvantage with this thing. And let's go here to enter this. So all save. Yes. Okay. Uh, I pause the video for a while. And so anyway, uh, if you go over here, you can see that this image is not squ 
way a square type it's just a rectangle and so if I go over here you can see that it's only half uh, the square over here also I don't know why it didn't save those changes but I made it public so anyway uh, wait a second okay so I'm, so I'm here to the Roblox website and you can see that this is obviously a problem I don't want my image to be like this but I want to be like this I want it to cover the entire square so what I want to do is go over here to my images and I want to uh, cut this into a square type so I'm sorry it's in another language it's not English um, select square and then save copy and then name it somehow this and now if I go here to the game settings game icon and choose this and then save reload um, it will take some time for the I for the new icon to come so wait a second finally it's loaded and you can see that now the image is it has covered the entire square and if I go in here you can see that the other image I imported is valid as well. Okay, so that was it for uh, so that was it uh, for today. I hope you uh, remain healthy with coronavirus and everything. And see you next time for another tutorial. Goodbye. Thank you so much for your support and playing Military Tycoon, which is at the time still under construction. And just a heads up, I, I'm not making the. I'm not just making, not working on an update. I am going to release uh, a Military Tycoon 2 because this update has got so many uh, new. Things things that uh, are worth uh, seeing with the uh, app but I would also like to keep the old version of the game so when the update is out uh, you can just play Military Tycoon 2 um, also I would like to thank you because Military Tycoon made two Robux and then Beach, Beta Beach Tycoon uh, has made another three anyway. Uh, thank. Uh, also, I would like to thank you for this. This. Um, no, not the keyboard. Uh, th this is the gold the crown of O's, uh, which I won because thanks to you, and it comes because uh, one of the games I have created, obviously, Military Tycoon had um, 100 plus MAU uh, as Roblox calls it which means monthly active players uh, monthly active users and thank you very much for playing and supporting the game uh, I hope to see you uh, in the in Military Tycoon 2 as well and yes uh, thank you very much goodbye